And the most important thing we're going to teach you is this right here. It's in every room and cabin, everywhere in this lot. That is, to me, in our opinion, the most important thing we're going to teach you. We're not going to tell you what your limit is. That's your decision to make. That's an ethics decision. But I will tell you, we are not long-range fans of, of shooting animals. In fact, we, we despise them. The problem is, at 700 yards, the average shooter can't see that he missed that elk. No, you need a shot at the guts, and it's going to go off and die and make a death for you. So you know your limitations. If you look through the scope and go, God, I'm just not sure what's the wind, you know, what's... Yeah, anyway, just keep it reasonable, keep it ethical. That's our, that's our, our mantra, if you will. The thing that kills the barrel is not the friction of the bullet down the bore, it's heat. Heat erosion in the throat, fire cracking, that's what kills your gun. So, as a general rule, if you can hold your barrel, you're okay. But if you touch the barrel and you have to immediately let go of your barrel you, for fear of getting blisters, it would do well to let that barrel cool a little bit. Good. My feedback could be, you missed. <laughs> that's feedback, but it may not be great feedback, right? It's like, well, that's good, Dave. I know I missed, but what do I need to do different, right? So I could say, you missed high. I could say, you missed low. That's better, but still not great. A high lot, high little. Or I could specifically tell you, you are two minutes high. Okay, I'm going to either not hold two minutes lower, you know exactly how much, or I'm going to dial down. So, uh, what I'm looking at down range, that one inch at 100 yards, by, these are quarter minute scopes. That means four clicks in order to move it one inch, four clicks. Four more clicks, four more clicks, four more clicks on the scope. Four or, or quarter minutes, right? So if we make a one minute adjustment at 100 yards, I just, I just corrected from here. I just came up four clicks. Right? So what does that mean? You can't do anything. Once this gun goes off and it breaks, boom, you can't take that finger off the trigger. You only told your finger to go that way. If it goes this way, you're not in control of that finger. Right? You told your finger, I want you to go this way. It breaks. Boom. What are you looking for? What are you looking for when that gun goes off? Boys? Target. Target. Yeah. Try not to lose the target when the gun goes off. Why? Why do you think? Why is that important? Follow up shot. Yeah. Well, how are you going to know what to do next if you not don't see where that bullet went or did it go a little left? Did it go a little right? I got to know those things for the backup shot. That's why a lot of times here, as we're shooting metal plates, you're going to shoot a big plate first, and then we're going to have you shoot the small plate next. Why? Because this was a win, dummy. And this one here, I better correct from whatever happened to this one. Does that make sense? Uh, so we're going to give you a harder challenge after you take this big plate, small plate. I don't ever think I've been thirsty enough to drink a Coke. Uh, <laughs>
talking about on our side, I'm sure you are on your side, we have to look at wind speed, and then we have to look at the clock position, and we have to come up with what is known as the effective speed. Uh, you was driving down the highway, you were going 70 miles an hour, and following all the cars out here, correct? And everybody looks like that. They're going 70 miles an hour, the effective speed is zero, left or right. You're looking right at that car in front of you. There is no left or right deviation from that car. What I'm attempting to do here is use bone support, okay? This was my go-to. A lot of people really struggle with this, but this is where it was at for me. I'm most stable here. I haven't seen that. Like, I can almost achieve ARM on that orange plate over there without any support. What's ARM? Acceptable reticle movement. So that was part of our, our seven fundamentals, right? We build our house and then we check our ARM. ARM is defined as less than half the width or height of the target. So if I'm shooting on a nine inch kill zone, I can, I can uh, four inches of wobble is acceptable, as long as I can keep it under four inches of wobble.
last morning here at FTW Ranch and finally got to test out my new Christensen Arms 300 PRC on this beautiful boar.